Hysteroscopy is done using a hysteroscope, a thin lighted tube that is inserted into the vagina to examine the cervix and inside of the uterus. A hysteroscopy could be a diagnostic procedure or an operative procedure depending on the nature of what is seen. Diagnostic hysteroscopy is used to diagnose problems of the uterus, is also used to confirm results of other tests such as hysterosalpinography or HSG. HSG is an X-ray dye test used to check the uterus and fallopian tubes. Additionally, hysteroscopy can be used with other procedures such as laparoscopy or before procedures such as dilation and curatage or DNC. There are certain abnormalities or pathologies within the uterine cavity which can give rise to abnormal uterine bleeding as well as infertility like polyps, fibroids, adhesions, anatomical abnormalities of the uterus as well as a thick unhealthy endometrium. These are the conditions where an operative hysteroscopy is mandatory. Your doctor may recommend scheduling the hysteroscopy for the first week after your menstrual period. This timing will provide the doctor with the best view of the inside of your uterus. Hysteroscopy is usually done under anesthesia. Though there are various modalities of anesthesia available, IV sedation is the most preferred method of anesthesia for hysteroscopy. It is a short procedure, hardly of about 5 to 10 minutes if it's a merely a diagnostic hysteroscopy. Though the length of time may extend to more than a couple of minutes or hours if it is to be a di operative hysteroscopy. Prior to the procedure, your doctor may prescribe a sedative to help you relax. The hysteroscope is inserted through your vagina and cervix into the uterus. Liquid solution is then inserted into the uterus through the hysteroscope to expand it and clear away any blood or mucus. Next, a light shown through the hysteroscope allows your doctor to see your uterus and the openings of the fallopian tubes into the uterine cavity. Finally, if surgery needs to be performed, small instruments are inserted into the uterus through the hysteroscope. It is not associated with any major complications as such, but however, like for any other surgery, minimal risks associated with anesthesia or injury to the tract may be there. Compared with other, more invasive procedures, hysteroscopy may provide the following advantages. Shorter hospital stay, shorter recovery time, less pain medication needed after surgery, possible avoidance of open abdominal surgery. And one does not expect any major complications following the hysteroscopy. There could be some mild discomfort in terms of abdominal cramps or vaginal spotting to bleeding for a couple of days. These need not be taken very seriously and can be addressed by means of simple painkillers.